Hello, horror lovers. Today's story takes place in a convent located in the outskirts of a small town in eastern England. As we have all heard, life in a convent is not easy, as they can be very closed off, isolated and cold places. They have very strict schedules, both for praying and for the different daily tasks nuns have to do, and not to mention the celibacy and the vow of silence. To be able to stand such a daily routine, you need to have a lot of faith, as well as getting along well with others. The head figure in a convent is the abbot, which means father. Things started to go south when out of a sudden the abbot of the convent disappeared. In its place, they found a note explaining that he would be absent for a few days. He had been summoned for an urgent meeting at the Vatican Square, so he had to depart immediately. The note also mentioned that to fulfill his functions during his absence, he asked a substitute for help. He would arrive in a few days, so until then, all the nuns would be in charge of running the convent. There were no issues during that time. The nuns always arrived on time to pray and did all of their chores as sisters. They kept the place clean, visited the town schools to spread the word of the Lord, made handicrafts to sell, etc. Four days later, someone knocked on the convent's door. The new priest had arrived, and all the nuns came together to welcome him, in order to make sure he was as comfortable as possible. However, as soon as they saw him, they all shattered. He was an older man, wearing ecclesiastical clothes. He was wearing a black robe, which complemented his cold and piercing gaze. He went into the building without stopping to greet the nuns who were waiting for him. He then went into his quarters and locked himself in. His behavior made the nuns break their vow of silence, since they were all disconcerted and scared by the first impression that man had produced in them. After a while of talking to each other, all the nuns went back to their respective rooms. And same as every day, they would get up at 6 in the morning to sing the chorus, go to Mass, and receive the Holy Communion. During the ceremony, they all took notice of how the new abbot skipped the initial prayer. He then took out a chalice filled with a reddish liquid, allegedly wine, and then gave a bit to drink to each nun while saying, He who drinks my blood will live in me, and me in him. Two hours later, all the nuns woke up between incense smoke and inverted crosses. The abbot who gave them his blood to drink now had his skin and eyes completely red, had two horns on his head and an evil smile was drawn across his face. All the nuns got out of that room and went directly to the town armed with knives and torches, burning everything standing in their path. They cruelly killed everyone they saw and took their bodies to their leader. The next night, someone knocked on the convent's door, saying he was the substitute abbot. The nuns opened the door. In the screams of pain he let out, it would have been heard in the entire town. If there was still some left to life there, the actual substitute abbot ended up hanged from a huge crucifix in the same room where the nuns prayed and drank wine. And that's the image the first abbot had to witness when he came back from his meeting in the Vatican. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.